Hi everyone, the other time we talked about microvascular complications of diabetes mellitus and we've been able to talk about retinopathy, neuropathy and nephropathy. And the question is, are there more organs that could be affected? And the simple answer is yes. So let's see. There is possibility of atherosclerosis. I have mentioned this while presenting points on heart attack. Peripheral vascular disease, lower extremity amputation is possible here because of impaired neural and vascular supply. Claudication foot ulceration. From history, you are going to get all this. Uh, foot ulceration, you check the physical examination because sometimes, since they have neuropathy, they may not feel the pain and they may not even know. So you remove the shoes, remove the socks, and check interdigital ulcers as possible, at the heel, posterior, Malurus, media and lateral check. Intestinal angina or mesenteric ischemia is possible. It's usually sudden and it could be mild but sometimes severe abdominal pain. Another situation there could be blood in the stool. The individual could be having diarrhea and confused. If Intervention is not done on time with the mesenteric ischemia. There's possibility of gangrene and intestinal perforation. And even when there is adequate treatment, it's possible that intestinal obstruction will ensue later in life because of fibrosis and scaring after healing. So mesenteric ischemia is possible as a microvascular complication in diabetic patients. Coronary artery disease, we cannot overemphasize the need for appropriate treatment and checkup because that will prevent untimely death. As a matter of fact, coronary artery disease is the major cause of death in diabetic patients. Of course, myocardial infarction, acute coronary syndrome, ST elevated myocardial infarction or non ST elevated myocardial infarction, unstable angina, and all the cohorts are all possible problems. Ischemic stroke is not far from these people because when there are plaques, thrombus form, and for any reason there's thromboembolism and it's getting into the carotid, the tibial artery, going to the brain, it can cause obstruction of blood flow in the brain leading to ischemic stroke. Individual might initially have what you call transient ischemic attack, which was would be a big signal to possibility of ischemic stroke. How do we treat here? I've just put this down, not because that's the only thing you can do, but when you have GLP-1 agonists like glutide or DPP-4 inhibitors like and by glyphosine available, you can use them. Why? Because they have cardiovascular benefits. And in addition to that, I've mentioned before, I think during the last presentation on microvascular complications that now you use 
adjutensin confiding enzyme inhibitor like ramipri, but if the person is allergic or reacting to it, then you can use a member of adjutensin receptor blockers. Why? Because AC inhibitors have what we call cardiorenal protective ability. So now we are fortunate that we have three different types of medication, actually four. So AC inhibitor, adjutensin receptor blockers, GLP-1 agonist, DPP-4 inhibitors, could all be used to help prevent cardiovascular problems in diabetes patients. And if that would be successful, I think, personal opinion, that less people will be dying due to diabetes mellitus because coronary artery disease is the leading cause of death in them. And when the coronary artery disease is well taken care of, then mortality should decrease. So thank you for watching my videos. I will ha have more presentations and you'll hear from me soon. Please remember to subscribe to my channel so that you can be getting these pieces of info on a timely basis. Thank you.